Alright, what is up guys? Back at it again with another video. I know in the last video I said that this video or the second video was gonna be me working on my El Camino, but it's not gonna happen today. So today I decided I'm gonna work on the quad a little bit more. I'm gonna take off, you know, all the plastic pieces on it, I'm gonna take off the exhaust and paint that black. And yeah, I'm just gonna, you know, record you guys or record the process of doing that. So yeah. This bolt. There's two bolts right here, two bolts right here. So I'm just gonna take those off. They look like 13s. So. So I got all the plastic pieces off that I need to get off. There's the back bumper. I mean, no, no, no. So. That's the bumper. That's the back something. Yeah, I don't really know what that would be, to be honest. I just call it a bumper anyways. So, I gotta take that off. Pretty sure that's a 10. Actually, no, that's not a 10. That's a 13. I don't know. Uh, it's this. That's all I know. Yeah, I was right the first time. It is a 10. Okay. So, that's a 10. And then, I gotta unbolt it from the engine and then there is one more right here and then another one of those right there so got the exhaust off i didn't get the whole exhaust off i'm probably not going to end up doing that just because the fact that you know you're most likely going to have to use like a certain type of paint that's like that uh that can withstand the heat i only have this and you know i'm cheap so i don't feel like buying more like, you know, the heat kind. And, you know, I figured this doesn't take that much heat, so. I'm just gonna, I'll just paint that. And that, therefore, um, because all the plastics and everything kind of cover that. So you're not gonna see it that much anyways, but, you know, one day in the future, I'll paint it with that certain type of paint. And then, uh, yeah. <laughs> Just use the wire brush on it just to get a little bit more of the rust off so I won't do that I won't spend as much time sanding so I wire brushed it just finished sanding it so now I'm gonna throw it in some primer and then just paint it blue and throw it right back on the quad <laughs> What's up guys so I'm gonna be finishing the quad um the videos that you guys just watched I recorded those about two days ago um so yeah today's Thursday so I recorded those on Tuesday and when I painted when I painted the exhaust I kind of wanted to let it sit because it was so tacky and that paint has to like sit for like over 24 hours so I just let it sit and then yesterday I didn't even mess with it um Cause I didn't really get home till like eight o'clock, and you know, I really feel like working on it after that. Cause I had uh, um, ROP the auto shop, so um, yeah. So right now I'm just gonna throw it back together, and then we're gonna be painting the back bumper today. So here's what the exhaust looks like. Yeah. Nothing changed other than the fact that it just got a lot more black and uh, shinier. So I'm just gonna throw this back on it's uh two little mounts i had here there's one right here right there and then there's springs that connect from right there to um it's like a little thing little flange right here so i'm just gonna throw those back on and yeah so i got it on not that hard you know if the only kind of hard part was those springs springs are really um they're really on there uh not that easy to get off they weren't easy to put back on, I can say that. So, yeah, I got that back on. So, 
what I'm gonna do is the reason why I'm repainting the bumper is because the past owner got like some overspray on it. I don't even know what the heck that is either. So I'm um, just gonna sand it with like maybe like some 220 because yeah. when you look at it, the paint's actually pretty good. You know, if I, if I were to clean this up, dude, the paint would be mint. But I'm just gonna sand it with 220 and then just throw some black spray paint on it and then uh. I'm probably not going to let that dry because I kind of want to just, you know, finish the video today. So, yeah, get back to so, you. So, I, uh, I painted it. I'm just going to let that dry for about an hour and then I'll come back out and then uh, we'll uh, throw it back on the quad and uh, throw everything together, put all the plastic pieces back on, and that'll be it for the video. All right, so I recorded those videos yesterday and, you know, kind of wanted to let the bumper dry. I know I said I wasn't going to let it dry, but who let it dry. So, right now, I'll throw you guys on a time lapse of me just spraying down the quad and then putting it back together. So, while the quad actually kind of looks good, kind of going to give you a little rundown. So, that's the exhaust I just painted. Um, I painted these silver, but uh, I'm not really, really like how they turned out. So, I might paint them black. And the next thing I'm going to paint suspension on the frame. I mean, it looks good and everything, but just to have fun, do something. Just get all the rust out. All in there. Um, I tried, you know, cleaning up the edge a little bit. If I take this off, um, you can see a little bit more. But, you know, I cleaned a little bit of it. Clean some back here. But, you know, once I get my pressure washer fixed, be a lot easier to clean this thing. So here she is put all back together. We got all the trim pieces, all the plastic pieces and everything on. I am gonna have to get a new seat because as you guys can see there's nothing there. It's not the most comfortable thing ever. But you know I might get any one of these because it's not really broken. And I'm gonna show you guys what you know what I meant is you know you can't see the exhaust pipe besides that little thing. But to me, it would be nice to have like a perfectly nice exhaust pipe all the way there. So I'm going to end up painting that one day. And if I paint, you know, all the rest of the stuff that I want black. So that's going to wrap it up for today's video. If you guys want to